Hey everyone, my name is Gabriel Biederman from National Parks at Night. And today we're gonna to talk about the best cameras for night photography. But before we get started, I wanna click on that subscribe button below so you can learn more from BNH. So right now we live in a golden age for night photographers. Practically every digital camera, DSLR or mirrorless, from the last two to three years is going to produce excellent image quality during long exposures. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the current batch of new cameras and see how they fare at night. So Canon just announced their first full frame mirrorless camera, simply named the EOS R. And this camera takes the tried and true 30 megapixel sensor from the Canon 5D Mark IV which is a great sort of perfect combination for night photography. You get high resolution, wonderful detail, good dynamic range. You'll be able to get those higher, cleaner ISOs with that 30 megapixel, sort of in that sweet spot for night photographers. Other features that I like, a very large and impressive electronic viewfinder, a swivel and tilt LCD screen, and a customizable bar where you can kind of preset any sort of night settings that you can easily get to with a press of the button. Even more exciting are the adapters that Canon announced alongside the EOS R. The one in particular adapter that I like is the one that includes a drop-in filter where you can put a variable ND in it. This is great for those super wide Canon lenses that can't put a filter on the outside. You can put that in, Put that drop-in filter, adapt that super wide angle lenses, and get long exposures during the day as well as the night. Next up is the Fujifilm GFX50R. This is an incredibly compact, medium format, mirrorless camera. The 51.4 sensor has dynamic range for days, nights, and all the lights in between. I love the minimalistic and compact design of the Fujifilm GFX 50R. A couple key features that are in all of the X models that Fuji has, dial in any long exposure from 30 seconds to 60 minutes. No need for a cable release, no need for a bulb. It goes 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, four minutes, eight minutes, 50 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes. Also, the built-in intervalometer works like a champ. Great for time lapses and also excellent for collecting stars to stack later in post. Really excellent image quality at up to 3200 ISO and I would dabble into 6400 ISO but wouldn't go farther beyond that. So keep that in mind. You won't get incredibly high ISOs but you'll still get dynamic range for days with the GFX 50R. Nikon has also recently entered the full frame mirrorless market with the announcement of the Z7 and Z6. And it is the Z6 that should be attractive to any night photographers or low light videographers. The 24.5 megapixel BSI sensor, when matched with that new XP6 image processor, produces excellent image quality up to ISOs of 25,600. The camera is very ergonomic, excellent low light 4K video with 10 bit HDMI out. You can also keep your night vision in the field by referencing your settings, not in the electronic viewfinder or the back of the screen, by this low light top panel OLED screen. The Sony A7 family of compact full frame mirrorless cameras are all excellent choices. You basically need to choose a megapixel that best suits your needs. Start out with the popular A7R Mark III. This 42 megapixel champ has got oodles and oodles of dynamic range and detail. However, if you want to stack 60 images to create a star trail, you might need a new, more powerful computer. The A7 Mark III is a great all-rounder. The 24 megapixel sensor is just that sort of, again, we've talked about that perfect blend of getting higher ISOs as well as getting excellent image quality. Now the A7S Mark II is still the low light champ out on the market. No one else can match its highest ISO, which is 102,400. Now, it might be only usable a couple stops lower than that, but still, it's an insanely good and low light 
the drawback for the A7S Mark II is that it's only 12 megapixels. So if you want to make big prints, you're going to want to look to the A7 or the A7R. If you're going to keep your images online, then the A7S is a great fit. All right, so that's our quick look at the current batch of cameras and how they fare at night. If you want a deeper look into some of these cameras, as well as how to test your camera for the night photography, check out the longer in-depth video that we made in the link below. Also, share your favorite night cameras, as well as features you'd like to see built into future night cameras in the comments below. My name is Gabriel Biedren. Thanks for watching.